Hi, I'm Simon. And I'm Monica, and we're painting in France. We're painting in France. And today I'm going to be doing a little bit more travel journal art based here in Nepias. We're going to do this little bridge in the background. While, and Monica, what are your plans? Um, I'm taking the leap for a walk, aren't we, girl? Hey. <laughs> okay, let's get started. She's, the, she's eager to go. <laughs> there we go. All right, come move. Right, I think I'm going to set myself up here. We've got a nice view over the old bridge to the mill and I'll unpack my bag. So, what have we got? Biro, brushes, paint and journal. I think I'm ready to go. So, once I'd got the the initial sketch done in Biro, um, and I was happy with that. I then started to apply some colour. And as you can see, I've got my little uh, Winsor and Newton kit, or James Bond kit that folds out from almost nothing. And I started by putting, um, yeah, a, a light mix of Payne's grey with some yellow ochre, just to get that basic tone in the stone colour. As you can see from the scene here, that that's pretty well all over the whole picture. Um, I kind of work the, the colours down the page, letting them bleed together. The idea here was just to, to get that initial kind of feel of the page. I'm not worrying too much about specific shadows, I'm just putting the, the overall tones in, mixing in some, like I said, yellow ochre and some Payne's grey, perhaps a little bit of burnt sienna. Uh, but to be honest, I just I put this kind of set together. I'll give you the list of colours uh, below the video. Um, so you can check those out, but I tend to have like just a fairly simple range of colors um, As you can see, I'm just using one brush here as well, which is keeps it much simpler um, It was drying quite quickly, which was good because that meant I could apply those extra sort of shadowy tones relatively quickly without the whole thing bleeding together as you can see on the right hand side there, I've got a bit of scrap paper it's always good to have a little bit of scrap paper just to you know Try your brush out, try your colour out um, before you dive in. I mean, this is a very quick, quick sketch uh, with a splash of colour, so it's not a, uh, a, f a, f more, a more formal painting. But um, yeah, we'll get the basics in, and now I'm putting a little bit of wash of, of slightly optimistic blue sky in there, um, strengthening that up a little bit here and there before I start looking at maybe a little bit of greenery in the background. Let that dry a little bit. Yeah, so now looking at the, the greens within the picture, I generally start with my favourite sap green and add that to the sort of main areas, becoming stronger as the painting goes on. So I'm just washing in that green down on either side of the wall there, you can see it on the pathway too. So, uh, taking shape, taking shape. Once I've got this in, I think I'll mix up a stronger, stronger shadow color and add a little bit more intensity to it now. So I'm mixing the blues and browns with the greens to uh, to get that darker green there in the background. So now you see I'm putting that in, which helps to give the the shape of the uh, the actual mill there in the background too. And only a bit of tissue just to kind of soften the brush out, and um, that works nicely for that's kind of feathered leaves and branches at the top of the tree. Another little piece here now, just to emphasize the roof shape. Doesn't have to go all the way over, uh, but as you can see, it just helps to pick it up visually. So now I'm leaving, leaving some light green areas, but also intensifying the darker green. So 
taking shape here, you know, just intensifying it, adding some darker greens now to the foreground, and I think I'm about to add some shadows in there. Let's give it that kind of sunny day feel. So I'm intensifying the shadows on the side of the wall, on the side of the bridge, and I'm, I think we're going to be putting some in on the on the side of the mill as well. I do like these brushes, they're, they're very flexible. I mean, that's, like I said, we're just using one brush in this particular picture. Uh, these these SAA travel brushes. And although I've got a set of four, this is the largest one, um, it really covers everything. You know, you've got a nice point on it and um, simplifies things, of course. Occasionally letting it dry just to intensify, so I can go back and intensify the colour without it all bleeding together. And I think what I'll do before I finish is is add some more details with the biro, just enhance that stone work a little bit. I'll see if I can get a picture of that in later on. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, I've used a little bit of artistic license. Um, it was a slightly overcast day, um, whereas occasionally the sun would creep out, and I've kind of tried to capture that kind of moment where the where the sun's given intensifying the shadow a little bit. Now the walkers are back. I think that's pretty well it. Yeah, I'll set that, I'll finish that now. I'm gonna um, call that a day and I think I'll add a little bit of line work just to enhance the, the stonework in the scene. I'll make sure I get a copy of that and we can uh, put that on too. There we go, work of art.